Our long national nightmare is finally over. Welcome to this breaking news at home edition of Seahawks Today by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here as we bring you this breaking news that Devin Witherspoon has ended his holdout and will be reporting to Seahawks training camp. Very good news for the Seattle Seahawks that Devin Witherspoon is reporting. Some of the details. Let's tell you about this contract, what we know right now. Four years, $31.86 million with a $20.17 million signing bonus. And for the looks of it, it sounds like that Witherspoon is going to get that entire bonus all up front of what he was looking for. And that was at the heart of the issue here for Devin Witherspoon and for the Seattle Seahawks was that the Seahawks wanted to defer some of Devin Witherspoon's bonus down the road. They wanted to push that back a bit. Meanwhile, Witherspoon wanted everything up front. And traditionally speaking, the Seahawks in the circumstances, when it comes to these contracts that they do with rookies, they prefer to defer some of the money. And Witherspoon wanted all of it up front. And you compare that, let's look at some of the other rookies in this year's class. Bryce Young got all his money up front. Uh, meanwhile, C.J. Stroud got all his money up front. But then Will Anderson, he ended up getting 85% of his money with 15% deferred. So Witherspoon, in his case, wanted all that money. It looks like he will, at the end of the day, get all that money after all at this point in time. So Devin Witherspoon gets the deal done. He will report to training camp. And now we'll go forward with everything else, as is with Devin Witherspoon. The Seahawks have multiple practices over the next few days, so I would expect to see that Devin Witherspoon is on the field and participating with the Seahawks in full capacity immediately based on getting this deal done. So, want to hear from you guys. What is your one-word reaction to the Seahawks and Devin Witherspoon getting this deal put together four years $31.86 million with that 20.17 signing bonus. What do you think of this deal finally getting done for Witherspoon and for the Seahawks reporting? Chime in. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Give me one word to describe the Seahawks and Witherspoon getting this deal done. Folks, this is why you subscribe. This is my off day. This is actually a holiday here at Chat Sports. We call it Chat Sports Day where everybody takes the day off before football season. But that doesn't stop breaking news from happening. And that doesn't stop us from bringing you a video when the Seahawks have news. And here I am. I was actually laying in bed just enjoying a nice Friday morning. And then sure enough, we get this news breaking. So threw on a shirt, wanted to bring you a video as quickly as we could to tell you about what was going on with Devin Witherspoon. Folks, this is why you subscribe and we're getting very close to 38.5 thousand subscribers on the channel. So if you can do us a favor and subscribe to the channel, that's a free way to contribute to make this worthwhile for us uh, and show some support. Subscribe now for free. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment. And that's why you turn on notifications too. That way you're alerted right away when the Seahawks uh, have breaking news and to see our insights and analysis on it. Subscribe now for free. You'll be glad you did and turn on notifications. Devin Witherspoon, I got to tell you, I was very excited when the Seahawks drafted Devin Witherspoon. Um, was it the top priority for the Seahawks to go get a corner? Uh, it wasn't their biggest need heading into this offseason. But it was a situation where the Seahawks looked at the towel on the board and they couldn't deny Devin Witherspoon. Remember, at the time of the draft, there was a lot of speculation about Jalen Carter being the pick for Seattle at five. Ultimately, he fell to the Philadelphia Eagles. And although the Seahawks probably needed a player like uh, Jalen Carter more position-wise, the Seahawks looked at the talent of Devin Witherspoon and said, look, you know, we don't know what's going on with Jalen Carter and the off-the-field stuff. Devin Witherspoon is just as talented, if not more talented, than Jalen Carter, and you don't have that off-the-field baggage. And so that's where the decision was made to go ahead and go with Devin Witherspoon here. Maybe it wasn't their biggest need, but they looked at Devin Witherspoon and said, we can't deny the talent level here of what it brings to the table. And now you look at this cornerback room for the Seahawks. Devin Witherspoon, Tariq Wallen, 
Mike Jackson, Kobe Bryant, Trey Brown. And the Seahawks, we talk a lot about having depth and how good this cornerback room is for Seattle. Think about this with training camp right now for the Seahawks. Tariq Woolen's still not back at this point in time. And your starting outside corners in practice early on here has been Mike Jackson and Trey Brown. And so now you get that depth back that we've talked about all offseason long that the Seahawks needed. So this is a big deal for the Seahawks to get Devin Witherspoon out there, to get those early reps, and find out what it is to be a Seahawk. And we've seen uh, from the offseason programs, all the reports, the indications were that Devin Witherspoon looked really good, that he did his part uh, as far as that goes, and that he looked more than ready to compete for one of those starting corner roles. And the assumption was that when he came to town that he was going to start opposite of Tariq Wollin. They were going to be your two starting outside corners. But then Mike Jackson, Pete Carroll called the MVP of the offseason program, said that he was the best at OTAs of any player out there. So all of a sudden, you got some good competition. Competition makes everybody better. Iron sharpens iron, right? So the Seahawks, Devin Witherspoon, Mike Jackson, Tariq Wollin, these guys, they got plenty of options here, and it's a good thing for the Seahawks of the position they're in. The numbers from Devin Witherspoon. Let's go ahead and give those to you what he did at Illinois this past season. Three interceptions, 14 passes defended, 42 tackles. And my favorite stat of all when it comes to Devin Witherspoon, as far as being that lockdown corner, uh, his completion percentage allowed was uh, less than 35%. Okay, that's phenomenal. And you talk about being a counter to Tariq Woolen. Um, some people aren't going to like hearing this, but it, it's just the truth. Uh, you, you look at the numbers from PFF, they'll back this up. Tariq Wolven, terrific at creating turnovers and doing his thing that way on that front. He did give up some big plays at times, too. You got the good with the bad with Tariq Wolven. That's why many didn't consider him to be uh, in the same class as Sauce Gardner. Uh, that although the turnovers he was uh, doing a great job of, maybe he wasn't the lockdown type like Sauce was. In Devin Witherspoon's case, you're getting a guy that does create the turnovers but is the lockdown type too. So watch out for Devin Witherspoon. I'm very intrigued to see what he does here in 2023. We're certainly going to be rooting him on, and it's great to have him at Seahawks camp. Will Devin Witherspoon have a big year? Tell us in the comments section, what do you think? What will Devin Witherspoon do in 2023. Chime in. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Why for yes, in for no if Devin Witherspoon will have a big season. I don't expect this to be a problem. I know I was hearing some folks in the comment section the last couple days saying, oh, this shows a lack of character and all this on Devin Witherspoon. Uh, water under the bridge. Just go play football and make the most of it. It's all good as far as I'm concerned. Subscribe to the channel. We'll have more updates. Probably not the last at-home video I'll be doing over camp as news breaks. We'll have you covered here on the channel. Uh, hit me up on social media. Got more updates as well at Tyler Jones Live uh, on all social media platforms. And I'll see you next time right here on Seahawks Today. Thanks for joining us.